what's up with the gang i'm back with another crackhead video what did he say i'm back with another crackhead video hey squidward can you say your name backwards that's easy drop dicks <laughs> and i might actually post this crackhead video first so let's jump right into the story time yeah i know i'm already prepared i already got my light ready yeah, I'm fixing a pizza too, so I'm gonna be fixing my pizza. Walking back and forth from y'all to the stove right here. I was in like the fourth grade and we stayed in the hood. I came over here to tell you that I lost my job. So I'm selling some food stamps and I started a business. So hit me up. What business you got? You selling fentanyl again? I ain't selling no fentanyl. Stop putting my goddamn business out. That is an ongoing trial. Like they used to get the shooting on my street every day. They didn't miss a day. Go, 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 go. And it was kids, grown folks, adults, all that stuff went down on my street. All that. Everybody was crackheads on my street, to be honest. Everybody, you was a, you either was a crackhead or you sold crack or you was somebody who stayed in the house. And we was somebody who stayed in the house because it was too much going on on my street. All right, boom. So this actually took place in another house from the last crackhead. And y'all might see this one first before I post the other one because this situation happened first. A little background information. So these people had moved next door to us after we had been staying in our house for a while with no neighbors. They fix up that house, they put a gate on it and all that good stuff. This was back when I lived in Memphis. I lived in East Memphis. This was the first house I stayed in when I moved to East Memphis from Orange Mound. And it was just a whole different environment. And when we first moved over there, it wasn't that bad, but it got bad. And people who stayed there prior to the people who moved, that was nice. I was friends with them and stuff like that. I was friends with the girl, kind of, sort of. It was almost like forced friends because sometimes I had to go over their house at school if my mama didn't make it home from work yet to open the door for me. like forced friends and then she started going to my school so we started walking to school together yo so how i knew her mom was a crackhead Do you got a of soda? Was because you know a crackhead when you see one hey i'm in love with the coco like they talk fast they lips be white and chapped and they just be looking crazy. She was bald head too. She ain't have no hair. And it wasn't no cancer. So she had two kids. One of them was young, underage, and then one of them was my age. Maybe about a year or two under me. So I had a 10 speed bike. It was a mountain bike. I remember because I was the only one on my block who had a bike like this. It, it was a black bike, but it had pink tires. It was live, it was lit, it was something you wanted to steal. Now, the house that we stayed in, everybody walked through our backyard to jump the fence cause it was a trail in our backyard that leads you to the next street. So we was used to people walking through our backyard, there was nothing, they just walked through our backyard to go do, through the trail. And we used to keep a lot of dogs, so nobody didn't really mess with us on this street. But around this time, it was cold outside, and we let our dogs astray, so we didn't have them no more. And my stepdad wasn't around. He was incarcerated at the time. So we didn't have that at the moment. Y'all, I let my bike sit in the backyard. I didn't take my bike in the house. It was in the backyard up against the wall and I came home from school one day because I rode my bike every day we stayed on that street for a while I had that bike for a good two years 
And when I came home one, from school one day, I wanted to enjoy the company of riding my bike, and my bike was gone. I think you stole my bike. I was so devastated that my damn bike was gone, y'all. Nigga stole. Because I knew my for one, my mama is not finna buy me another one. She didn't even buy me that one. My stepdad was the one that made sure, my stepdaddy at the time, because they're not married no more, he was the one who made sure I had that bike in the first place. So I'm already knowing my mama not finna give me another bike. And she didn't. But baby, so we knew they stole it. Stole my bike. The crackheads who stayed next door to us, my mama was on it, because it didn't make sense. Everybody in the neighborhood knew who I was. They knew I had a bike and then nobody else. My bike didn't come up missing until these folks moved next door to me. So, put two and two together. Oh, the story gets deeper, though. If you ain't got my money or my I'm you and him. It gets deeper than that because this is not where it ended. This is just where it began. This is where it started. All right, y'all, so... I confronted her daughter about it. Get up. Are you serious, bro? Because what happened was I never caught them riding my bike, but her little sister, we gonna call her Money. Money, she started riding around on a small bike. These folks been staying over here for a good five, six months. Ain't never rode a bike a day in their life since they been staying over here. All of a sudden, my bike come up missing and y'all got bikes now. So, it must have been y'all stole somebody else's kid on the street bike too. And then y'all would never ride mine in public because you didn't want me to know that you had it. Y'all rode it. Maybe when I wasn't around, These, these, this is what I believe happened, baby. So yeah, I confronted the daughter one day, cause going back, I said we had to walk to school together in the morning. When I confronted her about it, I let her know. I know y'all stole my bike. Y'all, that's me, that's the thing. People don't, don't. Look, I will confront you for sure. I ain't never scared, never. So if I kept, on the hush, but I didn't say nothing to you. It's because I didn't feel like it, baby. I strictly went to this girl and I told her, I said, I know you stole my bike, and she looked me dead in my face and said, She and act like she didn't know what I was talking about. She don't know what bike I'm talking about, like, you ain't never seen my bike before, girl. Please stop it, stop it. All of a sudden, she got sick and threw up. So it, when we made it to the end of the street, she turned around and went back home. And I promise you, y'all, I ain't never seen that girl go back to my school after that day. Hmm. Is it just me tripping or hmm, clue points? We gonna call this daughter E. So when I got out of school, her mom pulled me to the side talk about some you said E took your bike. You, you said my daughter, we stole your bike. And I told, like, like, I'm finna say no or something because you pulled me to the side to ask. No, that's exactly what I said this morning because I know for a fact y'all stole my bike. Like, my bike didn't come up since y'all came up staying over here. Just like all this other bull crap on the street started happening. So, make it make sense because it already made sense to me that you was the one who did it. And so she told my mama, like my mama was gonna be on her side. Baby, no, my mama, my mama not no stupid, crazy woman. Yeah, so that big for her. So continuing on with the story, maybe a couple months later, remind y'all, we have been staying on the street for about a year and a half before these people moved on the street. So all this stuff started happening to us after they moved next door to us so yeah a couple months after that my stepdaddy he was still incarcerated his time was almost over for him to come home i had to sit down and finish the story y'all big mama is hungry how come 
our house ended up getting robbed. What did he say? <laughs> Nothing like this one happening until you moved on the street, though. So, our house got robbed. They stole all our PlayStations, all our Xboxes. They stole all our guitar hero equipment we have. We have an electric guitar, regular guitar, piano, two different microphones. One of them was electric, one of them was plugged in. We had a xylophone, one of those accordion things that you move together. They took all our flat screen TVs. They threw all our surround sound speakers off the wall. They tried to bust them. And they just threw everything around in the house. And that's all they took, y'all. They ain't take nothing else. We knew it was the crackheads next door because that same day, our house ended up getting robbed. Remind you what I said when she took my bike, the other bike that money had to be riding had to be one she stole too. When our house got robbed, she had to be robbing other people's houses too. Because that same exact day, somebody pulled up on her and shot her house up. I can't make this up. They shot the lady house up. We know because one of the bullets came through our wall. So not only is you around here robbing people, stealing at their house, but you robbing the wrong folks. And now you got your too. I bet she ain't robbed nobody else after that. And her and her kids was in the house when they shot it up. And they shot it up while she was in the house. So they was trying to target her. It would go be honest. So while they was around there stealing, taking my bike on some junk ass shit, revenge happened. They didn't have no games. I been in their house. They ain't have no games. They ain't have TVs, Xboxes, 360s, none. They ain't have none of that. We had all that. So when I went over their house, maybe a couple weeks after that, the landlord had already fixed the walls and stuff, so you couldn't really tell that it had been shot up. But you knew it been shot, excuse me, shot up because how the paint was on the wall. But y'all, what the fuck they got a flat screen TV in the living room with the Xbox 360 hooked up to it? Junk is crackhead, pony. I'm I'm a, 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 I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm letting it rip because that's some real con that you just did for real though. That's junkies. You just don't go around here robbing people house though for real. Then thinking ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Think stuff sweet. <laughs> but yeah, I just had to get on here and tell y'all about the time I stayed there though to a crackhead. <laughs> Like, for real, like, this is what crackhead people do. They steal, and then they steal for crack. They ain't doing nothing but punning their stuff for money so they go get some more crack. That's, that's it. You're a crackhead, baby. You are a crackhead. Oh, and y'all, my mama ended up making a rap about the girl, y'all. She went to the studio that night, made a rap about, the, the, about this whole situation that happened. In the studio, so at the end of this video, I'm gonna play her song and let y'all hear it. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please give this video a like so that everybody can see the video. That's gonna be the only way that the videos can circle around and spiral around the internet so that other people can see it. If you don't like it, then it's not worth the view. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. If you don't hit the bell, then it's not worth to subscribe because then you won't see me post each and every time I upload more content. And if you want to continue to watch me and see me upload content about my life and just stories in general, period, you have to subscribe to the channel, you have to hit the bell, and you have to hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that like button. It don't take nothing but three seconds out your day to hit like. With that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. <laughs>
tried to run me out, but she's the one that had to leave. Yeah, broke in my house and stole all of my flat screen. Got three hundred dollars, but she couldn't find it. Uh -uh. I got more than twelve stacks in the bank tree. Robbing me ain't did nothing but get your head split. Grab that four five, put a hole between your eyes, make you lay down feeling like you just want to die. But I died. I have to go that round, play a step out, call the folks on who. I can't even lie. 